What's up, my awesome and amazing Aquarius? It's Pride OG, and I'm here with a general collective reading for your sign for the week. The final air sign of the zodiac cycle, the second to last, the 11th out of the 12th, out of 12, not the tw 11th out of the 12th. <laughs> Listen, the 11th sign out of the 12 zodiac signs in the cycle. Shout out to y'all. We just left Aquarius season not too long ago. We are now in Pisces season, but shout out to all of y'all that are here today. I really do appreciate y'all. People be forgetting that Aquarius is an actual air sign, not a water sign. They be seeing aqua in the name and they think it's a water sign, but no, you guys are the water bearers, okay? It's like you have control over the forces of your emotions, very much mental and logic, humanitarians, curious, always wanting to know more, doing your research about unity, and easily able to detach from situations, which is a good thing, but sometimes could be um, your downfall because, yeah, you got to get in tune with those emotions and be willing to express them. But I know you're an air sign, so sometimes the mushy-gushy emotions is just not it for y'all, but it's all right. We're going to jump into this reading um, and see what type of energy you guys are currently facing or dealing with and what you could be expecting. So, yeah, if your birthday is between January 20th and February 18th, you are the amazing, astonishing sign of Aquarius. Thank you so much for coming here. I really do appreciate y'all so much, and I'm sending you so much light and love. No matter what it is that you are facing right now, whatever it is that you're going through, you are not alone. And I'm so glad that you decided to be here today. Spirit, protect this message with love, peace, prosperity, abundance, clarity, and confirmation and affirmation for all of my Aquarius is watching this. Now take this as it resonates and leave behind what does not resonate for you because this is general and collective, all right? Yeah, and watch out for those imposters too because there are some scammers out there trying to act like they're me and I would never reach out to you and ask you uh, for a reading for you to for me to do a reading for you. That's something that you would have to reach out to me for and uh, quite frankly, I really don't really do personal reads that often. So yeah, watch out for those scammers. But let's jump into this reading starting off with the significant number. Ooh. Okay, we got five. High five, Aquarius. I feel like take five too. This could be like um, you, I'm getting the energy of like a five minute break. <laughs> but also I'm picking up the energy of like your five senses, being very much conscious and aware of your senses, right? Making sense of certain situations that you are facing right now. The number five is um, associated with change, conflict, challenge, release, and adaptability. So I'm making sure that you are able to adapt and um, pay attention to your senses, you know, make sure that there, um, if there is any negativity that you're holding on to or toxicity that you release this so that you can overcome this conflict or handle this challenge with ease and grace, right? I also feel like there could be some major changes taking place in your life at this point in time. And this orange energy is giving me, um, like, I don't know, I'm just getting like maybe a checkup. There could be some sort of checkup that is needed right now. Like you might be checking up on your, your senses, like going to the air doctor, the eye doctor, something involving your health, though. There could be something involving that. And this could be, this is your sacral chakra. When you see orange energy, this is all about your sacral, your sac, you know, that private part area down there. So, yeah. I don't know. There could be some sort of lack of in intimacy or lack of creativity. Like somebody could be having some sort of challenges with producing a baby or getting it up or getting wet. I don't know. Like, you know, just make it resonate how it resonates and, you know, take what resonates for you, leave behind what does not. But yeah, there also could be some sort of creative blocks in general where it's like you're just having a hard time producing something creative, but you are a creative being. We all are. And you might just want to focus on your sacral chakra right now and make sure that you are protecting yourself and changing something about the way that you are, you know, handling that area of your body. <clears throat> if your birthday is February 5th, huge shout out to you as well. Somebody could be the fifth child of a family. You might have five children. Someone might have five children. But I do feel like five, the the, ah, the month of May could be very significant. There could be something that you're changing in the month of May, like your location or um, you could be overcoming something that was like a challenge for you or a conflict by within the next um, five weeks or by 
May. That's what I'm feeling here in this energy. But yes, yeah, Spirit, thank you so much for clear and accurate messages for Aquarius. Let's see what the basis of this reading is going to be. We got movement. Yep. See, somebody is definitely moving. But I do feel like your intuition could be blocked. You might be having a hard time around what your emotions are, like how your emotions are trying to guide you with this movement. You could be moving um, in a way that is creating more conflicts or challenges for you. And there could be like some sort of internal conflict going on that's kind of blocking your intuition from coming through. So you definitely want to make sure that you are um, moving energy towards your heart chakra, moving, making moves, um, making sure that your movement is rooted in love here. Because that's what's going to help your intuition spike up as well when you start to pay attention to your emotions and move in the energy of love, right? That's always going to overcome any conflicts or challenges. Um, yeah, and especially if you, like I said, if you've been having health issues down there in that area, making sure that you are not lusting, you know, because I'm getting a lusty energy, but somebody is definitely moving up in life. That's what I'm seeing here. This green energy is like, yeah, spirit is giving you the green light. You're rising up. I'm getting like charged up energy. Like, you know, like when your, your battery is full mm -hmm, and your phone, somebody's phone could be on like 5% too or stay on 5%. Like your phone always dying, child. <laughs> um, Yeah, I'm gonna need you to charge up. But yeah, I feel like somebody's definitely getting charged up and they're making some major moves here. And it's like you're you're rising above the conflict. You're moving through this change with grace. But it's like spirit is asking you to make sure that you are listening to your intuition and not blocking it out and making things harder for you. At this time, we got surrender. Surrender. Hmm. Definitely giving the energy of not fighting yourself or like just throwing your hands up with about something. We got growth showing up in reverse. So yeah, there could be something that you need to surrender in order for you to grow. There could be something that's stopping you from growing at this point in time. This is a conflict. I'm getting like um a weed. Somebody could be smoking. Yeah. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's kind of like, you know, if you're feeling addicted to it, like to the point where it's like you can't be happy or you can't um like flow through life you can't ju you just act like you can't you can't function without it then yeah there's something that you're gonna have to give up here but i do feel like there's something in the way of your growth something could be stunting your growth or like slowing your growing process here and spirit is asking you to surrender surrender so that you can elevate to the top because i do feel i see this energy of somebody moving to the top y'all see this with this movement it's like look these are like pillars. These are steps. And as you can see, starting from the ground and working your way up, I feel like the more you surrender to the divine or surrender to the process at hand, surrender to your growth, you're going to elevate up, 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 up to the tippy top of the pyramid. You might be um in a job field too, where it's like, you know, all jobs are technically like pyramid schemes because you have these higher ups, the CEOs, the bosses, then you got the workers, you know, so it's always going to be like a hierarchy here but that's what i'm feeling here it's like surrendering to the hierarchy of something that's taking place in your life right now there's a hierarchy and it's like you got to surrender to that i get it you might not want to it might be a challenge for y'all too but it's like i feel like you're moving up you're moving up and in order for you to move up you got to surrender and respect the ones that's um above you right now so that you can be their peer eventually or so that you can see eye to eye with them and get up to their level, right? That's what I feel like somebody is definitely doing, though. Somebody is definitely moving up in a company. And it could be a challenge, but it's like you're definitely changing your position here. Somebody's changing their position for sure. Mm -hmm. But there could be some sort of animosity, like I said, um, that you need to release. And it could be like some challenges that are required. I mean, that you are facing right now to get to this position, Also, if somebody has a sex addiction, yeah, I feel like, yeah, you might want to get some assistance or help with that. But yeah, free yourself, spirit. That's what I'm hearing, right? Free yourself. Allow yourself to move on from anything that might be stunting your growth. 
we got Archangel Michael showing up in reverse here as the first card underneath movement. So this could be like you uh, having some sort of struggle with uh, your children or the children that are around you. It's like being intimate with the kids that are around you here. There could be something. It's like the, the children are trying to reach out to you. And it's like, I'm getting the energy of needing to be lifted up. Like there could be some children around you that need to be uplifted. Like you are an example to the children around you. And look, you see, look, I feel like you need to pick, somebody needs to pick up their kids more. Because you see how that little baby is reaching upward for this, this figure, this grown man here, and the little girl is hugging him. It's like you are a savior to these children or these younger influences, these more, what I want to say, like these inexperienced, these babies, you know, people of the world that are just at a lower position than you. And it's like they're paying attention to your movements. So be mindful of that. Like your children are always watching your every move um, and how you handle them. And like, you know, it matters to them when you are not there to support them and lift them up. So I'm definitely getting this energy of needing to uh, uplift the children or even your own energy. Your own inner child could be needing to be uplifted. Like maybe you might be feeling a little bit low right now to the point where you don't even have the energy to spend with your your kids or the children around you, you just don't have that energy to uplift at this point in time. But it says, oh, sorry. When Michael comes to your reading reverse, it's a sign that you need to reconnect to your real power source. Michael is a channel of divine force. And this card reverse indicates a growing feeling of loss and weakness, spiritually, mentally, and elsewhere. One or more areas of your life may be affected and you may find yourself in situations where you just don't know what to do or how to take the initiative to do it. If so, it's time to consider all the ways you can start to take your power back. Let go of your old perceptions of limitation and replace them with the new thoughts and words that remind you of your God strength. Take action on your own behalf. And when you do the things you love, you tap the power to make yourself happy. Your soul longs for you to move from timid to truly empowered. Remember that Michael can share his courage with you and help make that happen. So yeah, there's definitely something here where it's like you're not connected to source. You're not focusing on the divine in you, the divinity in you. You're not taking action in some way, shape, or form. You could be limiting yourself with your thoughts. You could be allowed, your thoughts could be uh, kind of like, out of whack. I feel like somebody is just not listening to their intuition. You feel like you don't know what to do, but that that's just a thought in itself that could be blocking you from moving up or moving closer in connection with love. You know what to do? Just do what feels like love. Do what, what you think love... <laughs> Make decisions based off of what you feel will bring you and those around you more love. That means being patient with them, being there for them, being there for yourself, being patient with yourself. You know, it all starts with you first. So if you've been lacking in that energy for yourself, that's where it starts. Because you're not going to really be able to make anybody else happy or really be there for them until you're able to be there for yourself and make yourself happy on a regular basis. Then it naturally flow outward to the others that are connected to you. We got the sands of time. So this is definitely the energy of you knowing that it's time to take action, but you got more time than you actually think you have. I feel like the sun could be setting for somebody or um, it's like you went through a really dark period in your life where you felt like you were rushed or you had a lot of work to do and you just didn't have enough time. But spirit is granting you with more time. This car showed up in reverse. So I feel like the sun is about to come up again. Light is going to be shined upon your situation. You're going to be able to see things more clearly and um, actually have the time and energy to get things done. Right now, I do feel like um, there could have been some sort of uh, limitation around your time and energy. You might have been feeling like you were lacking time or energy, but you're coming out of that vibe. You're moving out of that energy. Then we got the architect showing up in reverse. So somebody is a mother freaking um, planner. Like you're you're creating the blueprint for your life here. You are an architect. You are a builder. You are meant to build a life of enjoyable experiences. Uh, you are brought here to like create a life 
or some sort of like plan or some sort of goals here. You're an architect. Somebody could actually really be an architect right now. You could be in the field of architecture or wanting to move into that direction, but there's some work that is required here still. And for some of y'all, y'all just might not be feeling like you have the ability to build something. There could be like a fight between what it is that you're trying to build here in your life between you and others. But it's like you don't have to fight. You just need to focus on what it is that you're trying to build. Don't even worry about what they got going on. Just worry about you getting up to that level. You making sure that you're maintaining your position as the architect of your life here, um, Aquarius, okay? So, yeah, I feel like there could be a lot of stuff going on. Like, you could be dealing with a group of people, you know, or, like, this is the thing about life, though, because we're always affected by not just our own energy, but the energy of other people. So it's like spirit could be saying, like, you just need to focus on your work at hand and making sure that you got your plans in check. Uh, it says plans have changed. This card in reverse means that plans have changed or perhaps have even fallen through. There may be things that you can't seem to control or maybe you've lost your belief in your own talent and authority. Even if a particularly large task lies before you, don't just give up. It's time to wake up to your power and work the plan. If the plan is in a state of collapse, start a new one or at least consider some actions that you can take to reclaim your power and start anew. So, yeah, that's where that surrender energy. You see how this thing is being built up here? You see that? It's like building up here up to a very focused and um, particular point. But I do feel like something could be like collapsing around you right now or you might just be feeling like you don't have authority over your life or over this specific situation but you do have more authority than you actually know and um just focus on the actions that you can take to reclaim your power and start new don't focus on feeling like you don't have the power just focus on what can i do to regain my power or make myself feel powerful because you always have a choice an option a decision to make and fighting yourself and fighting yourself and limiting yourself is what i feel like you need to uh surrender and give up like you need to stop limiting yourself or fighting yourself and telling yourself these negative things like you can't do this you don't have enough time you're not capable you're not talented enough you're not built for this because you are you are the architect okay you are built and if you don't feel like you're built for this then build yourself up for this it's time for you to start building yourself up and get in tune with your affirmations and not just speaking these things but taking action on it the architect takes action and um, gives direction to those around them to help align with the actions that you're trying to take. Like, whatever it is that you're trying to build, it's like, first of all, you shouldn't even be around other people that's not trying to build with you, period. If they're not, if there's a lot of people in your life taking up space around you and they're not trying to help you build, it's time for you to um, put that energy beneath you and rise above it. Yeah, it's like, just stop giving so much energy and time to that, those folks. Yeah, because no. Oh, and then we got community showing up. So yeah, there's definitely a community of like-minded individuals that you are gravitating towards. Spirit is asking you to reach out to your community at this time. I feel like somebody could definitely be like part of the community watch or wanting to do something to help build the community. That's the vibe that I'm feeling here for you Aquarius it's like you are the humanitarian sign as well so when I see this community card showing up I'm definitely seeing it's like you are coming together or you want to be a part of a community of people that's helping build the community here so that everybody can stop fighting one another so that things could be more free-flowing and like you know crimes are decreasing and more people are fed or clothed sheltered that's the vibe that I'm feeling here we got diversity showing up in reverse So yeah, don't be afraid of diversity though. Cause this is the thing about a community of people. Um, everybody's not gonna be the same, okay? There's gonna be major differences that we have to be able to um, surrender to. Like at the end of the day, you can't make everybody like you. And everybody's not gonna do things and handle things the same exact way that you handle or do things or even see things from the same perspective as you. And you gotta be willing to take on a difference be willing to accept the diversity of perspectives here. That's the energy that I'm getting, especially as you get in tune with this community of people. 
This card says the Eight of Roses says, hold on, let me open this up. Let me open this up real quick. But I feel like there's a lot going on around you and you might be confused about what to do or like what perspective to take on. Don't be afraid that you'll get trapped in your choice. Um, because worrying about things that you're not doing or haven't only defines your lack in life. And that's what I was saying because if you're focusing on what you don't have or what you aren't doing, then that's taking away precious time and energy from what it is that you could be actually doing at this point in time. So just be mindful of that and pick up on those energies when you feel yourself doing that, Aquarius. Spending frivolous time focusing on what you don't have or what you're not doing. This card says, inside a room, people are seated around a table conversing with interest and energy. There are many icons from different groups and societies. A caduceus, a sunflower, a Tibetan bell, an Egyptian scarab, a dream catcher, and a star of David are just a few. This card indicates that it's time to join or rejoin your group, your ashram, your tribe, or your sangha, whatever you call it. It is a community that connects you with others of like-minded purpose and activity. There are many communities in each person's life and still more that return from past lives. For instance, you have your family, friends, and work associates, but you also have the people with whom you share many creative, cultural, or spiritual purposes. New friends can also be coming your way at this time. So be open to these connections. You will not only find help with current directives, but you may also reawaken past life relationships, talents, and disciplines. It's time for a happy sharing of discovery. So I do feel like you're coming together with a group of people who are discovering something amazing that you're going to bring to the community that's going to help like um, raise the vibration, raise the frequency of the lives of people. Honestly, that's what I feel like we all came here to do. But we get lost and stuck in the illusions at times and thinking that it's all about chasing money or uh, getting some sort of career or some sort of title or status when it's really not about that. It's about making life a better place, not only for you, but for those around you. Because honestly, if you're the only one happy in life, say, for example, you're rich or whatever, you got a lot of money, but there's still people in your family that's struggling and and uh, you see a lot of other people still struggling in the world, that's going to still have an effect on you, especially if you're in tune with your soul. Now, if you're just wrapped in your ego and you're a wicked individual, then of course you don't care about that. But I'm not getting that energy from you. all I feel um, the energy of, you know, just a humanitarian, like you care about humanity. And you want to make humanis, hum, uh, humanity's experience um, a better one. But it's like you can't fight humanity. You can't fight the community. You got to be able to accept it and really be locked in and focused on like bringing a new perspective and sticking to it and building the community. But, you know, it, sometimes in order to build, there must be a collapse. There must be some sort of destruction. There must be some sort of removal releasing of something right so that's what i'm feeling here definitely making sure that you are releasing any pent-up anger or toxic behavior patterns of limitation or gossip yeah because honestly being a part of a community yeah we're gonna have to talk about what's not going right in the community if we want to fix it but gossiping is definitely something totally different gossip is talking about something with no Talking about something from a negative perspective with no intention on making the situation better. It's just like frivolous chat, chatter about negativity going on. It's like, okay, but what are we going to do? Let's stop talking about it. Let's be about it. We got the fifth chakra showing up here. Okay. This is that significant number showing up here. So this is definitely spirit saying that you want to um, use your voice in some way, shape or form to uplift people. And I see a horn here, so somebody's definitely giving musician vibes. Somebody is very smart and intellectual, and your voice is going to move the world here. That's the vibe that I'm getting. The throat chakra energy, making sure that you check your throat. Um, you might want to do some throat exercises as well. Like I said, somebody could be a singer as well, or a musician, and it's like you write songs that uplift people, or that's what you really want to be doing here. But yeah, somebody definitely has the gift of gab or the ability to speak um, in a way that is going to make people move.
So be also be mindful of the words that you are letting move out your mouth too, because they affect your children as well. That's what I'm seeing here too. Just somebody has um a beautiful voice here. Using your voice for the betterment of the world to uplift, to move things forward. We got patience. Yeah, so be patient with yourself. This is definitely a time of patience and spirit is granting you more time. Look at this. That time, that clock here showing up here, spirit is letting you know that you have nothing but time in this world. Now, that doesn't mean just waste your time and sit around not doing anything. Patience is not just sitting around waiting for something to happen. Patience is doing what it is that you need to do with grace and not rushing a specific outcome or for you to be in a specific place. So, yeah, this is what spirit is saying. Like right now you are where you need to be. You have time to work on this endeavor. You have time to make moves. You have time to rest too as well, but Spirit is saying be patient. Don't be in a rush at this point in time with your moves because if you're rushing your movements, you're definitely going to make some sort of mistakes or some mishaps that you're going to have to come back and clean up later. You're going to be overlooking very vital details about your situation when you are rushing. So Spirit is definitely asking you to just be patient and let go of any desperate energy the the feels of needing to like feeling desperate to make something happen is just like let it flow let it go let it flow you definitely got time you got time aquarius in due time all right we got the world <gasps> and then we got action showing up in reverse so this is definitely the energy of you expanding helping the world expand in some way shape or form see i told you you were brought here to help build the world up in some way shape or form it's like you're the you're creating a blueprint for the new world the new earth that we are about to embark upon. This world is changing every day, right? But what type of plans do you have for the world around you here? Getting focused on your plans for the world. You're, you expanding though. The world is definitely a card of like opening up. Spirit needs you to open up and share your plans with the world. Don't be afraid. That could be a challenge for you though. You might, once again, feeling like, I don't know even where to start with that. It's like you start with it by surrendering and start telling yourself, well, I know I have the answers within and I'm working towards it. Even if it starts with a little um, a little gesture of you telling the people closest around you what it is that you want to do and inviting them to help you with those plans. But you got to be really focused on it. It's like at the end of the day, look, this architect here, you see all these people that's working it's like look at the top here you you got these people that's working and the architect is pointing his finger so it's like giving direction to others having a first of all the architect has to have clear direction on what it is that he's trying to build and create in the first place in order for um the dream or the manifestation to come into fruition so it's like first of all get clear on what direction you're trying to go in and then once you are clear on that then you will be able to help direct other people on how to help you bring this into the world to make this a real thing but yeah i do feel like the world is waiting for you like you were brought here into this world to create something this architect energy like architects build solid foundations that the world can benefit from like think about all these buildings these hotels these homes the things that we live in an architect created this for us to be able to uh, experience and to have a part of our life, you know? So, yeah, I definitely see here with the goddess of the moon showing up in reverse, there's a, a blockage in your intuition here. And it could be like, it's like you're not listening to your emotions or you're having a hard time tapping into your emotions here with the goddess of the moon showing up in reverse because the moon is the ruler of our emotions, okay? And the goddess of the moon is someone who is in tune with their emotions, their intuition here. And I see that the happy family is showing up in reverse too. So there could be like a wedge between you and your family. There could be like toxic dynamics going on within you and your family, or you're just not happy with your family because y'all not as close as you want to be. Y'all are not connected. Y'all don't hold each other enough and support each other enough and uplift each other enough. It's giving gloomy, cloudy, rainy, depressive, experiences more than happy rainbow flowy beach breeze you know relaxation like i'm seeing like here somebody could be like um either going on a trip with their family or on vacation and it's like y'all just arguing 
And it's like, look, we're supposed to be a stronger community, not so divided. We should be able to express our emotions to one another without being toxic or without shunning each other for feeling the way that we feel. That's the energy that I'm getting here, though, with that uh, happy family showing up in reverse. There's definitely a family dynamic that is making you unhappy here. But I want to read on the goddess of the moon really quick. Why is this what it means when it's in reverse? So this is about going within, too. So, yeah, the goddess of the moon in reverse is definitely an indicator that you could just be refusing to go within. Like, you don't want to go in and have these 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 uncomfortable conversations to get your emotions right. It's like you're trying to avoid it. You're avoiding going within. And this card of reverse reveals a blocked intuition or inner disconnect or a sense of living in the dark. You have a deep desire to know your purpose and truth, but they can feel very distant. This is a message of dissatisfaction where your inner life is concerned. It's possible that extreme worry and discontent are the obstacles to the inner peace and wisdom you seek. So it's like you could just be really worried. And the more you worry, the more you're blocking your intuition. You're not even taking the time to listen. And you got to go within and ask yourself, why am I worried? And why am I discontent? And really sit there and wait for an answer to come about. It's like you know why you're unhappy. You know why you're worried. Because there's a lack of action being taken. Or there's something that you're just not opening up about. If so, you need to let go and renew your faith in yourself and your eternal spirit. Get out of your own way and release the fear that's blocking the truth of your blessed eternal nature. Your soul, your higher self knows you best. So allow stillness into your life. Listen to the stirring of your own intuitive voice and trust what you receive. So yeah, it's like... Spirit wants you to sit still for a minute, be patient with yourself, and really listen to your internal voice. And now that negative voice that's inside that's telling you that you can't do this or that you can't have this, that's that ego, right? And you need to check your ego. Your soul is always there to encourage you and let you know that you have nothing to rush. You are eternal. There, You are unlimited. There's nothing that you can't do. These are the things you need to tell yourself, listen to that voice that's encouraging you from that perspective, because that's you really connecting with your soul. That's you expanding on your soul connections. <clears throat> and when you're in tune with your soul, then you can tap into other people's soul and help them elevate their soul. It's like a soul connection. Like, honestly, we connect so much better as a people, as a, as a species when we are coming from our soul, when we're speaking from our soul, it's like you get into the root of the issue here and dissolving any toxicity that's tainting your emotions or your waters or your outlook on life or your creativity or your ability to like um, build with the community of people. The first card that came out is the King of Cups in reverse. This is definitely um, your energy here. The King of Cups is associated to the sign of Pisces and Aquarius. So this is like, okay, look, the King of Cups is somebody who is having a hard time expressing their emotions. This could be somebody that's emotionally abusive or just literally emotionally detached. They just don't want to deal with their emotions or they have a hard time dealing with their emotions in a positive way. Not opening up and sharing your emotions and allowing them to flow. Not trusting yourself enough to express your emotions. That's the vibe I'm getting. And sometimes this leads to, with the King of Cups in reverse, this comes off as an energy of somebody who is emotionally abusive. Or just emotionally distant. It's like, I, it's hard to connect with this person on an emotional level. This King of Cups. This could be your energy, and it could also be a, a water sign that's in your energy as well, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but I'm definitely picking up on it being yours, and this is the energy that you need to elevate from and move out of. This is the work that you need to be doing right now. The Eight of Pentacles is here showing up as like a committed energy, committed to your work at hand, committed to building more value in your life, and honestly, if your emotions are out of check, then you're devaluing yourself. You're not really valuing yourself enough in your life. You're going to feel less valuable when you don't understand your emotions or you just mistreat people just because you're not in an emotional headspace or place to get the job done here. Because yeah, your emotions affect you so much more than you know. 
Aquarius. And I know a lot of people think that, oh, yeah, I'm not emotional. I don't have to be emotional. Listen, we are all emotional beings. We all have energy moving through us. Energy and motion is what emotions are, right? So it's like that energy moving, allowing that energy to flow. Like how how is it that you're feeling? You got to be able to express that instead of suppressing it and working a lot. Because I feel like somebody could be really good at their work. And it's like, all you do is work, work, work is giving alcohol, not alcoholic. Ooh, somebody might be drinking too with that King of Cups showing up in reverse. Yeah, that could be like a drinking problem for somebody here as well. Getting in the, um, kind of distracting you from getting the real work done that you need to be getting done. But Spirit is asking you to stay committed and dedicated um, to moving those emotions up, expressing those emotions. Don't just try to distract yourself with work because I'm definitely feeling that energy too. Somebody could just definitely be so distracted by work that they're just not emotionally available or feeling like just because I'm working and I'm getting this money, I don't have to be emotionally supportive. Like I can say what I want. I can mistreat people or I can, you know, be emotionally abusive because I'm the provider. No. Or just emotionally um, unavailable just because you got to get this money. No. You got to find the balance in between. So, yeah. We got the Empress showing up. Ooh, that's definitely very uh, sexy energy here. <laughs> but we got the King of Pentacles showing up in reverse too. So, yeah, this is about um, kind of like a, a corruption. Somebody being corrupt about money or just money hungry. This could also be a lack of generosity when it comes to like not just your finances, but like your energy and the energy that you are pouring out into your family, your home life here. But the Empress is showing up here too. So this is definitely showing me that you're abundant, you are creative. Somebody could definitely, I'm definitely getting the energy. The Empress is definitely a, um, a symbol of childbirth, like somebody who has a baby. But it's like you got to be mindful of the actions that you are taking at this point in time, making sure that you handle things with grace. The Empress is very impressive, abundant energy. It's like she's unlimited. So I do feel this. This is the energy of you being abundant in terms of time and energy. The Empress is also patient with her creations, the things that she's created. So it's like being patient with your kids, like nurturing your kids with this Empress energy. This is what you have time, uh, what spirit wants you to be putting your time and energy into your creations and being patient with them. Just, you know, tend to your creations and continue to produce. Because, yeah, I do see abundance in your life. All of us are abundant beings, but it's like you realize it. You know that you are an impressive individual here, but tapping into that feminine, nurturing, motherly energy, that earth energy here, and not allowing just your masculine, toxic masculinity, um, feeling like you just got to be the provider financially, and that's it. Mm -mm. That's not just it. But somebody could also be dealing with the earth sign too that is like like not generous with their money or money hungry or just all about money and not enough time for the family or somebody that's just lazy or um not really lazy. I'm not I don't want to say that vibe, but it's like um going through some sort of financial hardships. Then we got the seven of wands showing up here. Ooh, this is definitely um, you standing your ground here and protecting yourself from outside forces. So there could be like a lot of people trying to come in at you um, with their different perspectives on something. That's what I feel like, especially in a workplace. It's like when you're a boss, right? When you're a boss and you're making executive moves, there could be a lot of people that got something to say about what the way that you're handling the situation. But you're in a higher position here and they got they got to kind of I'm feeling the energy of somebody. They have to like I don't want to say like they're beneath you, but yeah, like you're a higher up here. Like you have more of an advantage than them being that they're below you here. They're coming from coming at you from the bottom here. Then we got the four of pentacles showing up in reversal so spirit is definitely saying release control. Try not to be too controlling, but be firm in your stance. That's the energy here. Be firm in your stance.
but don't try not to be too controlling to where it's like you're fighting off people that are supposed to be here to help you or people that are giving you a, a difference in perspective here. Because definitely I feel like this is the world. And this is the thing. When we are being judged by the world, it's just them giving you a difference in perspective. You can always see it like that instead of taking it to heart and feeling like, wow, these people are being rude to me or they're being mean. Look at the deeper message behind what, what they're trying to say here. Because I feel like Spirit is trying to uh, also offer you different perspectives here. Like, you see how this person is holding this wand? It's like these other wands are also being presented to him as well. So you don't have to see it. You don't have to fight off these perspectives. You could try to understand them and maybe even possibly take on a different perspective that can help you build. Because everybody has their own perspective. And honestly, in order to build a community, it, it takes more than just one person's perspective. All right, one more card from this deck, and then I'm going to pull uh, what's the scenario card for my Aquarius, and then we're going to close out. We got the Eight of Wands showing up, and this is um definitely, it's in reverse, though. So I feel like here, this is an imbalance that you have going on. There could be This could be an imbalance within your finances, your time, or money. It's like you're trying to juggle, the, you're trying to juggle life you're trying to create balance within your life but there could be some sort of lack of prioritization here you might be having a hard time prioritizing what's most important and it's so funny though the eight of roses came out with the eight of wands showing up in reverse so this is definitely like some slow going energy this could be like some sort of resistance either blocking a message from coming through like you're not trying to receive the messages that are coming through or there could be a lack of momentum it's like you're not picking up the speed here because you could just be so wrapped up in something that's um, not really a priority. Also, I'm getting the energy of being afraid to take a risk. So things can't, these opportunities that want to come in for you. Because the Eight of Wands is typically a card of good news. It's like you got a lot of good news coming in. Um, things are picking up for you. It's going to require some multitasking. But I feel like right here, especially with this juggling card, this two of pentacles showing up in reverse, there could be something that you're, you're having a hard time actually multitasking with. And it could be between um, other people's energy. You might be having a hard time multitasking between other people's perspectives or energy here. And you might be feeling like you just don't got the time for it. Like you just don't have the time or it's just too much for you at this point in time. But Ultimately, just keep yourself grounded here and focused on the priority. Like what, what, first of all, prioritize your own health and your own finances and your um, time management first and foremost, and then things will start to pick up for you here. Go within too. Spirit, Spirit is definitely saying like there's some sort of messages that the divine is trying to give you. Your intuition is trying to guide you in some way, shape, or form, but it's like you're not listening to it. You just refuse to go within. And this is slowing down your process, your progress. This is slowing down um, some sort of success that's trying to come in for you in terms of you building a community. Yeah, the Eight of Wands definitely in reverse. There could be chaos too. That's the energy here with this Eight of Wands showing up. There could be like chaos in the community or um, with the people that surround you or some sort of obstacles or delays. Just make sure that you get clear on your direction and which direction you're trying to move in because also that's the energy of lacking some sort of direction. Like not knowing how to move forward here. So that's why things are on delay. On delay. So yeah, let's see what's the scenario for my Aquarius's Spirit, thank you so much for clearing accurate messages for Aquarius. What's the scenario for Aquarius? What's the scenario for Aquarius? We got, I am obsessing about my own shit. Blank will help me get over myself. Hmm. Uh-oh. This card says, I am obsessing about my own shit. Blank will help me get over myself. So, yeah, it's like you're obsessing about something, your own stuff. But what is going to help Aquarius get over this bull crap? Let's see. It's a mermaids, fairies, and unicorns. Somebody could definitely be into sci-fi. Somebody could be like really, um, I don't know, creating a story or a book or something that involves mermaids, fairies, or unicorns. And Spirit is just asking you to take action on just coming up with your plot, your plans here. Um, I don't know. I'm getting the energy of like otherworldly 
figures. Like, you know, because all of these things, mermaids, fairies, and unicorns are all things that are like taboo, what we consider taboo or like um, unique creatures that are just of the mind and of the imagination. So I'm definitely getting like this very creative imagination from you, Aquarius. Use your creative imagination to create an idea in your mind to help you overcome this obsession this of this negativity. Like, use your imagination to imagine something better about your situation or like how you actually want to see things unfold for you. We got giving zero fucks. Poop. Okay, so I'm obsessing about my own shit. Giving zero fucks will help me get over it. So, hmm... This one is a little hard to correlate. It's saying giving zero fucks. Maybe giving zero fucks about what other people think at this point in time, especially if you feel like their perspective is just toxic and negative. If it's not helping the situation, give zero fucks about it, period. Cut it off. And also give zero fucks about that negative voice that's in your head that's trying to tell you that you're not good enough. Give zero fucks about that because that's a lie. It's a lie. It was all a lie. Like Carly Rae said, it was all a lie. Okay, give zero fucks about it. <laughs> and one more card. One more. How could Aquarius stop obsessing about their own ish? What's going to help them? We got compassionate detachment. Okay, yeah. See, so you are the sign of detachment, but um, compassionately detaching. It's like, okay, see, so that's the energy I'm getting here. I feel like for some people, you are going to have to just give zero fucks about and like really cut them off because they're not helping you build. Aquarius and it's like look you're gonna have to detach from them but do it in a compassionate way not in a rude harsh way where it's like fuck you like that's not the vibe we want to be given we want to be given like okay I release you in love I just gotta let you go and do you as I do me I just can't keep on giving I can't keep attaching myself to you if it's not serving my greater purpose if it's not helping me show up as the version of myself that I actually want to you see what I'm saying? It's like compassionately detaching, being understanding, being of love, not holding any animosity in your heart as you detach and actually being in tune with compassion and love because compassion is a form of love. So like, you know, don't be afraid to tap into that energy, Aquarius. I get it. I get it. You are air sign, very much logical in your head and not enough in your emotions. Um, But I do feel like you're a very heartfelt individual and you care a lot you do care but there's something that you need to detach from and it could be a person or a thing or it could just be your own internal issues so take whatever resonates for you in this reading i hope it did resonate for you if it did please give it a thumbs up because that means a lot to me and it shows me that you want more of these messages also comment below anything that you want to share with me about your experience or anything that you would like to chat about or even if you just want to give some gratitude in the comment section that also matters a lot to me and i really appreciate it all until next time aquarius peace love and prosperity